guys, today I'm going to show you everything that's a hidden feature in the Tesla Model 3. Let's go! So, just before we get started guys with this video, please go into the comment section, hit like, subscribe, share it, all those good things, salute to you guys, comment below, all that kind of stuff, appreciate it. Um, let's jump into the video. So, right here is a book that has nothing to do with the actual video. I was just holding a book and slamming it against the window to grab your attention. But today, I'm gonna to jump into all the hidden features that I know about, that I don't think has been said before or spoken about very often in the Tesla Model 3. So, without further ado, let's jump in to the first one. One, I don't, if, unless you own a Tesla, and even if you own a Tesla, you might not know about it. I've only stumbled upon this recently by mistake. So that's like six months after ownership that I stumbled across this, did not know it existed. Okay, so follow my finger up here and you can see there's an SOS button. So the SOS button is right next to the um, hazard lights. So the reason that this is so cool is I'm pretty sure it makes a genuine SOS call for you. Now, I do not recommend doing this. Do not do this. I've only done this once by mistake and because I did it by mistake, I know how to cancel it before it goes through as an actual SOS call. But this SOS button, will get you out of sticky situations if you'd maybe crashed, you'd rolled over, although it's hard to roll a Tesla, but this is what would happen, okay? Three, two, one, I've pressed the button. An emergency call has been triggered. To cancel it, use the display screen. The emergency call has been canceled. There you go. That's all I'm gonna do, guys. I'm not gonna do it again. I don't wanna risk. So it gives you about, it looked about six or seven seconds before it actually goes through to an emergency call. The car's doing that for you. You don't need your phone. You don't, it's already got the LTE on here, so you don't need your phone. It's gonna connect an actual call through the speaker system, and you would be able to ask for help in a real emergency where you couldn't get on the phone. How amazing is that, and how come people don't know about that? So there is my, that's probably my favorite. That, oh, no, oh God, it's hard to choose my favorite, but that is probably my favorite, because it's actually a safety feature that can help a lot, and I think, People should actually know about that a bit more often. So yeah, there's an SOS button in your Tesla Model 3 and it works every single time. And um, that's how you do it. You just press it once. You don't have to hold it. You don't have to do anything. You just tap it once and then the speaker comes on and yeah, wow. Unbelievable. Um, did you guys, I'd really be interested, do the people who own Model 3s on this channel, do you guys already know about that? Did you know there was an SOS button? That's my first time, like I say, six months ago was the first time I realized there's an actual SOS button inside the car. The second thing that I don't think is actually spoken about that much is the manual door handles. Now people think that it's just this little button up here, but there's actually another way of opening the door. So let me show you. Okay, so here is your normal door handles and this is, this is what you do. You press that and it opens a door. You have to like push out a little bit, but it doesn't actually require much force. Okay, so what's the other way? Right down here, if, it, if the camera focuses, this here, this, this thing, it's actually a lever. So I'll push it from the underside And that is a manual door handle. Who knew? Did you know? If you knew, comment down below. Say, Jordan, it's not so secret. But there you go, manual door handle. Now, when you do that, something happens on the screen. It tells you off. What, what happens on the screen? You might have noticed whilst I'm opening the door, I'm doing it with the window down. Now, why am I doing it with the window down? Well, this is the message you receive when you do the manual door handle. So right now I'm gonna do the manual door handle and let's have a look at the screen whilst I'm doing that. And I'm just, now. so now I'm gonna pull it Manual door release used may cause damage to window trim. Let's try that again. Uh, so I did it once with, with the window trim, the window down, and I think I know why it could cause damage to the window trim. So that versus that. The difference is, is when you, so now I'm gonna use the normal door 
the window comes down straight away. So straight away, the window comes down. Um, it tells the window to come down first and then you can open the door. With the manual handle, there's a slight delay. So if I'm pushing it open whilst using the manual door handle, I could actually push the glass against the window trim. See how it takes a lot longer to come down? Versus, can you see it guys? Is it just me? Three, two, one. Yeah, versus three, two, one. Half a second, half a second, but there is a difference, there is a difference. So there you go, manual door handles. Did you know about them? Comment below. I don't know if you did, if you did, let me know. Okay, on to the next one. So, number three is my favorite of all the hidden features, and I don't think anyone knows about it, or very little people know about it. So, I need this, and you'll be like, why does he need that? I need this, sort of need this. I need this thing to show you exactly what it is. And you're thinking, what's going on here? Let's head outside and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna need this light as well. So I've got this, come around here. To be honest, that's not actually gonna work as good as I thought it was. Now what I'm gonna do is get this. People are like, what's going on? What is he doing? I'm gonna get wet and dirty here. Okay, this is all for you guys. Right, pass me the camera. I'm soaking now. Right, okay. So, can you see that? Can you see this? Can anyone see those, all those holes there? Do you know what that is? If you do, before I announce what that is, comment below. I don't know if I'm doing a hatchet job of this, guys. Okay, can you see it? There, there, there it is, there. Have I captured it? Okay, you can see that, right? It's on that front, it's on that front right side. Let me check if it's on the other side as well. No, it's only on that front right side. Okay, so that was for you guys. What is that? What is that? That is my favorite hidden feature. That is, it's a speaker. Let's jump back inside, it's a speaker. Why on earth is there a speaker on the outside of the car, you might ask? Well, comment below if you know why there is. Some people will, might be commenting right now, snake jazz. And if snake jazz doesn't mean anything to you, you're obviously not following Elon on Twitter. Snake jazz, or Earl the Frunk Puppy, um, ignoring all my messages about snake jazz Earl, but snake jazz is... That's a sample of snake jazz for you. Why do we need a speaker in the front of the car for snake jazz? It's just Elon being Elon. The reason there is a speaker on the outside of the car is because in some countries they needed a something that could create a noise for legal reasons to make sure that people could hear electric cars come in. So Elon used that and put a speaker in the front of the Model 3s. Now this has only just come out this last year, so if you've got an earlier Model 3 you probably won't have a speaker under there, but you go check your Model 3, see if you've got a speaker right now. Let me know below if you've got a speaker in front of your car. And yes, yeah, only happened in the newer models and they're going to Elon's using it to basically meme everybody, and he's using Snake Jazz, which is a reference to Rick and Morty, and they're gonna uh, release an update where you can play music out of that speaker. Also, if you've watched recent videos... Well, don't just stand there staring. Hop in. <laughs> they were playing a voice out of there, some sort of weird voice. So, all of that is soon to come in a soon update, we will have weird sounds playing at the front side of the speaker of the Model 3. How crazy is that? If you didn't know that, comment below. If you did know that, comment below. Like, how many people know about that? Pretty cool feature, if you ask me. Okay, guys, where's it going? Where am I going with this? We are up here. Can everyone see? Can you see? What's that up there? It's a secret camera. Jordan, we already knew about the secret camera. Yeah, there's been a lot of controversy around this camera right here. This is number four, and I know a lot of people know about this camera, so why is it secret? Well, actually, I was in the car the other day with my brother who knows all about Teslas, and he did not know that there was a camera inside the front. Why is there a camera inside the front, people ask? Are they filming us, are Tesla filming us? Actually, yes they are. If you accepted, there was recently an update, if you accepted the user agreement, which I did, 
Tesla will on occasion collect data from the front, from the interior camera, if there's a crash or if it can help them determine why there was a crash on autopilot and stuff like that, they'll use that. Um, I think it's actually for Tesla's benefit to make sure that when someone says, I didn't do anything and it just crashed, it's to find out if you were sleeping more than likely. But they do use it. But its intention is for robo-taxi. So if you let someone use your car for robo-taxi or ride shared with somebody or something like that, it films the inside to make sure that no one's doing damage to your car. So yep, yeah, I thought I'd cover it anyway. I think this is five. I'm, I'm, I might be messing all the numbers up at this point, but take a look at this mirror. Pretty cool mirror, pretty dirty mirror. But if you take a really close look, you can see these little lines around it. I do not have a clue how this mirror voodoo works, but basically this inner piece right here at night time gets darker and that gives a better contrast to be able to see people driving at night. And it's the exact same with this mirror here. Again, I don't know if you can see, there's me. So you can sort of see it's like got a little dark rim on the outside. Well, at night, this centerpiece, hi guys, the centerpiece goes dark and it gives a better contrast out of your rear view. And it's the same with the mirror over there. So a lot of people don't know this is what's happening. In fact, the first time I got the car, I was trying to peel this off. I was like, oh, what's going on? I don't even know how it works. I don't know if it's electronic. I don't know if it's just like a type of film, like similar to, you know, the glasses that you get, that you go out into the sun and they go dark and then you go out into the, light, the darkness and they go light again. Like that, but for your mirrors, I think. So, number six. Is these. Just clothes hooks. Now, I know some people go, I knew they existed. Well, if you knew already, that's fair enough. But some people didn't know. Model 3 does have clothes hooks. There we go. Okay, so, so ignore my messy car. Number seven in the rear, if you just have a look here, guys. No, there's a cup holder. Some people don't know. The Model 3 has a cup holder. It's nice and soft and squishy inside. There's a cup holder in the back and you can still fold the seats down, which is kind of interesting. Next one, number seven, best till last, I think. I really like it. If you didn't know this, some people do not know this. This is genuine truth. Some people don't know this. If you didn't know this, thank me later. Okay. Or maybe you forgot you had this. Come around this side. Okay, guys, I have literally just come off a road trip. So don't judge me for the messy car. It is getting clean. I'm going to do it. One of my next videos is going to be how to clean a Tesla. So I'm saving all the mess for them. Come down here. So this is the last thing. We all know what this is. Uh, backwards, forwards, down, up, down, all that kind of stuff, tilt it forward, tilt, we know what that is. People forget there's a button here. What does this button do? It's doing something right now. Let me show you exactly what this button does right here. Stop forgetting you have this button. It makes journeys so comfortable. Remember, you have this button, use the button, okay? Let's go show you what this button does. Look at all this mess, guys. This. I say I have a messy car. This is because I laid on the floor to show you that speaker. This is all your fault. So this is, thank you guys for messing my car up. That's exactly what's happened here. Right, keep your eyes on this square. I'm gonna push the button now. And it's moving, but you just can't see it move. Well, you can see it, can you see it shrinking? Guys, it's very hard to see, so keep it, keep your eyes on it, otherwise you're gonna miss it, okay? This should kind of like inflate a little bit, but actually what's happening is there's something moving inside to offer more back support, so let's have a look at it. Keep your eyes on it, there it goes, there it goes, can you see it? In, like inflated, the, the things moved down a bit here. And basically, using this button, um, it's like, it pushes something into your into the arch of your back, so it gives you more back support, more arch support, and it actually does a really good job of pushing your back out um, better than any other car I've felt so far. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and show you this as best as possible, guys. So I'm pushing the button out. So watch my hand. 
Can you see it? Coming forward. Okay, now <laughs> I'm, pressing, I'm pressing the wrong button at that point, but there you go. Do you see it at the start? So it offers actually unbelievable back support. I'm really gonna have to clean the, the car now because of you guys. I was lying on the floor for this video. That's one of my favorite features, guys. Um, I even forget myself that I have that. I don't even use it half the time. And the last time I was on that road trip to Scotland, I put it on, I was like, oh my God, I'm in this unbelievable, ah, oh. It, Tesla should like program it so it could massage your back. It almost feels like a massage. Elon, at Elon Musk on Twitter, someone at him for me. Elon, turn that into a little massager. It's almost there. So close. It's really can offer a nice deep back massage. Only on the lower back, but still. Pretty cool. If you haven't got a Model 3, did you know that it's got little lights in the mirrors? Little beauty light lights. That's pretty cool. Quite a nice soft light. And they're magnetic. But that's probably not a hidden feature, is it? I feel like I've covered my favourite hidden features. These are my favourite hidden features. What are your favourite hidden features? Let me know. Guys, that's everything. They are all my favourite secret features. Um, comment below if I've missed anything. Comment below, tell me your favourites below. I'll be really interested to hear other people's hidden features. Uh, I know some of them, you guys might think, oh, we already knew that one. I apologize in advance. A lot of them are because I've discovered them or somebody else has said to me recently. But how exciting. A few days ago, the new Model 3 was announced. The brand new Chrome deleted Model 3 was announced. The faster performance Model 3 was announced. The more range Model 3 was announced. So if you're thinking about buying one, go to the link in the description. It'll get you a thousand free supercharger miles. It gets me a thousand free supercharger miles. And I do appreciate it. it goes a long way. As always, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And now I've got a Mercedes A-Class Sport trying to race me. So when this goes green, I'll see if I can beat him at the lights, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't think he is trying to race me. Who knows? Let's find out. And there we go. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. We beat him at the lights. It was easy. See you in the next one. Peace.